In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing how to make a very quick water for your game. So, I'm going to do this in the instance of this riverbed, adding uh, a bit of water into that. Um, this is going to be a very simple material though, so if you're wanting to go more complex, then you'll have to look elsewhere and use these same techniques to be able to um, put it in. So, all I'm going to do is add a plane. So, this is just going to be a flat plane that I put a material onto, and that's going to be it. So, what I'm going to do, put the plane in, scale this to something like 100, and then I'm going to start putting in, um, putting this plane all around the world to fill out this riverbed. So, there we are. So I've got that, there's no gaps that are showing, so that's fine. So then what I'm going to do is put this up a little bit, and then I'm going to make a material. So this is going to be a very quick material, so I'm just going to call it M underscore water. So there's a few things we need to do. So click on this uh, output uh, area, and then we're going to change the blend mode on the left to translucent. That's going to make it so we can see through the water. So, as we can see, it limits the amount of maps that we can have. But all we're wanting for this one is base colour, opacity, and maybe refraction, if you're wanting to add a bit of that to the water. So, what we need to do, hold the number 3 on your keyboard, and click. So this will then put a vector 3 node in. So... This will then allow us to double click that black area and then this is going to be a colour because RGB is three uh, numbers. So what we're going to do is get a colour that we like the look of. So I'm going to do a colour like that. Link that up to the base colour. Hold one and we're going to get a like a scale number just from uh, just one number. So link that up to opacity. And I'm going to put that as 0 0.9. So that might seem a bit high since water is usually quite see-through. But you'll see how it looks in the world. So you, in some cases you might even want this higher. So something like 9 .5, uh, 0 0.95. Um, but I'm going to put it as 0 0.9 for now. And then I'm going to add another one and link it up to refraction. And do something like 0 point, uh, 1.05. So this will add a little bit of refraction and I'll show you what that looks like in the world. So once we've got this uh, material done, we can just start dragging that onto the uh, meshes that we've made and we can see we've got water there. So we've got a fairly basic but okay looking water. Um, so there are ways of getting a material where it adds form on the edges, but again that's something uh, for you to look up uh, elsewhere. But this is how to just add a very basic bit of water. So I'll show you what that refraction does. So if I just add something, just a cube into the world, I then put it under, you can see that the selection is a little bit above the actual cube. So this is what water does, it bends light and it makes things look uh, a little bit distorted than what they usually are. So if I turn this, I'm going to show a good example. Yeah, so we can see with this, anything above the water is as it should be, but anything below the water sort of gets warped and it bends the light. Um, so that's what refraction does if that's what you're interested in. So that's a, a little bit of a realistic thing with water. But if it doesn't match your style of a game, don't include that. But this is how to add a basic bit of water. So the more simple it is, the more it won't mess up as you scale the plane up. If you scale it up with something that's got waves and everything, you'll need to do something in the settings to make it so it doesn't stretch. Um, but yeah, that's how you add water into your world. 